Hello guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Bonnie Perdanovic from Perth, Western Australia. And I'm posting here on a rainy Sunday. And today um, I'm going to tell you something that I have been watching. It is about uh, travel and it is about upgrading Rottnest Island. So if you want to comment below, feel free, no judgment. <laughs> Um, what do you think Rottenness needs as an upgrade? Many people are very, very um, much quick to say that Rottenness is boring. But there are many other towns like Calvary that are exactly the same, that just have national park. But Rottenness for some reason is bringing, getting more attention of needing an upgrade than any other place in Western Australia. So let me tell you, Rottenest is an island, uh, 20 minutes by a boat and 30 minutes from Perth City and 20 minutes from Fremantle. I will be putting up some pictures to make it a bit easier for you to understand if you're not from Western Australia. Um, or if you're from America, it's an island that has been getting a lot of attention about needing some upgrade and building up so that we can compete with Queensland Islands and get more tourism into Perth once this COVID-19 thing is over and the borders reopen, which might be another year or so even. So yes, it costs $60 to get to Rottnest. Um, and back and on a Tuesday it's cheaper but you must book it on time on Tuesday so one thing that uh, I think that Rottnest needs is a cheaper ticket from Fremantle to Rottnest for to motivate people to visit it a selfie with Roger Federer and a quaker is not enough I mean it is still expensive for regular people to witness Rottnest uh, we don't all have but there is money so that we can go in the helicopter and just visit Rottnest. Um, I said witness, visit Rottnest, sorry. I'm losing my words. <laughs> um, I think if we want to visit Rottnest, we must uh, need the cheaper tickets or if they accept concession cards, if they make some deals with accepting concession and Penian and, and pension cards um, that will make everything a lot bigger, bigger difference when traveling to Rottnest. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I don't mind if you disagree, whatever. I've been getting a troll asking me if I'm drunk while I do my videos. No, I'm not. I hate alcohol. So prank. <laughs> He's been uh, posting under my uh, posts on Facebook as well. Are you drunk when you... I, when you posted this photo, but I know it's the same person because it's the same type of wording. So, <laughs> anyhow, let's continue with this video. Number two thing. Um, Rottnest, how can I say, is beautiful, but uh, people are not aware that it's beautiful because everybody always wants to go to Bali, but when we look at it, Rottnest is just as beautiful as Bali. We need to appreciate now that this COVID times are here, our own state, and uh, start to think that maybe we are as good as Bali. Like, I don't know, but uh, um, I think uh, number two thing, maybe Rottnest needs cheaper food to start off with. Um, the food at Rottnest is very expensive because you can only buy it on the island and uh, the food uh, is um, basically they have a dime, of course every place has a dime. Um, Rottnest also has a fish and chips bar, they have a bar, a bar there and a hotel Rottnest. A lot of good food and variety of food, yes, but put prices down, Rottnest, and maybe people will visit more. Witness, wizard. I said wizard, yay. <laughs> Number three, Rottnest has upgraded a lot of their activities. Now they have a bottom glass tour that they do, um, which is $60, 65 but again, no concession cards accepted, no companion cards, no pension cards. 
they need to look at their prices if they want to incre increase visitors maybe put $60 and something something with a concession la 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 <laughs> you know what I mean but the, I have done the bottom glass tour it is just amazing you sit there and you watch the ocean, bottom of the ocean it is for people who cannot swim like me so <laughs> I'm not a good swimmer under the water no way <laughs> Um, so that is a new thing that is at Rotness Glass Bottom Tour, but look at your prices, guys. We don't want Rotness to be exactly the same like Queensland, because then we would be saying that... Uh, then they would be saying that we are copycats in WA here, and we need something more original. So maybe we they need beach volleyball at Rotness a few times a week during the summer. Um, they want to bring in backpackers, which is great, but then again the, the hostel that they want to turn into backpackers is so far away from the mainland that I don't see how it would work. Accommodation at Rutnest is very expensive, is another big thing that it can all be, this all can be worked on, it doesn't have to be on that price. Um, so yeah, the backpackers is a good idea, but it's the camping dormitories that they want to turn into backpackers to attract the youth to go to the island, which is fair enough, but again, there is no vehicles there, only bikes, and it's far away to drive, ride a bike from there to the mainland. So I have been at Rotness so many times, I have visited it almost twice every year uh, other than this year but I still plan to go this year sometime I just like to go and ride a bike and walk by the beach and just chill out um, and some people say oh I would never go there it's boring for me but yeah something places are boring uh, everything is boring for some people I guess <laughs> so I suggested beach volleyball they can do it as often as they do the volunteer volunteer three walking tours, uh, volunteers, they run walking tours, so when they run walking tours, somebody can organize beach volleyball as well. Yoga on the beach is popular in other states, maybe they could bring yoga on the beach, outdoor cinema. Um, outdoor cinema, yoga on the beach, beach volleyball, yeah, just things like that, that can help it improve other than a place to ride bikes all day. Because Rotness kind of has that reputation. I have done a tour at the lighthouse and I have uh, enjoyed it. It was nice. I went uh, four floors up and they gave me a, a whole full tour of the lighthouse at the Rotness. So when I've done that and the one hour walking tour, which is pretty much a day of something to do. so. It is getting better, but we want it to be even better than what it is now. So, I think, look into my suggestions and comment below, you guys, what do you want to see at Rotness Island. And, yeah, I will say ciao, Bella, and don't forget to thumbs up for this video. And, yeah, these are my nails for today. I have got green color. And let me know where you are traveling and where you are from and yeah, I will see you in my next video.